Well, 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 everyone, welcome back. This is Sharon once again with my co-host. The one and only, the famous Jamal. Famous for what? I do all the work around here. Whatever. Yeah, so you see our disclaimer up there on the screen, folks. Take a second to read over that. It's just to tell you, you know, we're just here for entertainment and, and you know, fair and use and education. Huh? Fair use, education, and commentary. Yeah, yeah, we, we we ain't trying to hurt nobody. We're just here. Just, we're going to report on um, this uh, West Virginia um. couple. Well, uh, as you see from my screen, we're talking about a West Virginia couple, white. West Virginia couple that adopted five black children and enslaved them. And before we go any further, we got this on WCHS News. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, so uh, there, the man was 63, I think, and the woman was 62. Why they let them have five young black kids? At that age. Yeah, at that age. But, you know, they did, and they turned them into slaves. So we're going to let you watch some of the, the video, and we'll come back and say what we got to say. A couple accused of human trafficking and forced labor of adopted children, including two teenagers who were found locked in a barn in Sissonville. Well, they're back in jail. Now, during their arraignment this afternoon, Judge Mary Claire Akers significantly increased the bonds for Gene Whitefeather and Donald Lance. Anna Saunders joins us live in the studio tonight with the reason. Anna? Hey, Gina. Before setting their bonds to $500,000 cash each, Judge Akers said she has never seen an indictment quite like this and that not only alleges the trafficked black children adopting them from shelters and foster care, forcing them to work, but that they specifically targeted them because of their race. Jeannie Whitefeather and Donald Lance came in on their own for their arraignments, but left in cuffs after Judge Mary Claire Akers set their bonds at 500000 more than double what they had already paid. So I don't think I've ever seen an indictment like this in all of my time. It alleges human trafficking, human rights violations, the use of forced labor. Human rights violations specific to the fact that these children were targeted because of their race and their use as basically slaves from what the indictment alleges. Along with human trafficking and neglect to a serious risk of bodily injury or death, I don't find the bond to be sufficient. Whitefeather and Lance were first arrested last October when a welfare check turned into the discovery of two teens apparently locked in a shed where investigators said they lived in deplorable conditions behind the Sissonville home. One other kid was found inside the house and two others were not home, all adopted by the couple. The indictment brought more than a dozen new charges against them alleging human trafficking and forced labor, also civil rights violations. As investigators believe they targeted these children specifically from a shelter because they were black, forcing them to work as slaves. White Feather and Lance were originally in Washington State and it is alleged- What a shame, what a shame. Modern day slavery. It's still going on. Jim Crow still going on in West Virginia. Yeah. I mean, uh, they got the human trafficking because uh, they have a 80, had an acre, 80 acre farm in Washington State. And they had the kids up there working on the farm. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And then they then they brought them back to West Virginia. The, the work of... Uh, I think they had, they had something going on down there. They put them to work down there, and uh, they locked the 16-year-old girl and the 14-year-old boy up in the shed, and the other ones they locked in the attic. That's why they couldn't find the other That's probably where they was at, in the attic. Well, they found the girl, a 9-year-old girl in the attic, and they and uh, the man came home with uh, one of the boys, and uh, when the woman came home, uh, she had a, a six-year-old girl said she would. Ha she had been staying at a neighbor's house. We know that's not true. They had him, probably had him out there working somewhere. Yeah, I wonder where they get that money. Get an eighty-acre farm from? Probably for adopting children all the years. I probably I don't know. Then you know they sold that eighty-acre ranch. I mean farm in Washington for seven hundred and ninety thousand. I think. 
and then uh then they they bond out the first time the first bond was two hundred thousand a piece, and they used that money to bond out. Then they sold their home in Simpsonville where they had the kids enslaved for two hundred ninety five thousand dollars right. and but they lied and told the court they didn't have no money. They need a court-appointed lawyer. Then the judge locked them back up again. They locked them back up. They said they need 500000 a apiece, I guess. Yeah, 500000 a apiece now. Wow. What a tragedy. Only only in America. You know, that, that, that's why you know I'm, I always harp on my videos about the black women. Go get some birth control pills and stop having babies that you can't, don't want and can't take care of. Because this is what happened to them. They end up in the system and... And they they go to go to this. They said the the sixteen year old girl, um, the the fourteen year old boy didn't have no shoes. He had open sores all over his feet. Wow, what a shame! And they said uh, both of them stink so bad that uh, one cop said she opened the door and it smelled so bad tears came. Uh, her eyes watered. Wow, I'm that's, like, that's just terrible. So they weren't taking a bath. And they had a had some kind of pot or something out like there for them to use, and I mean this. They had a little uh, a window AC unit and shit. No, they have nothing. Yes, I, I've seen the I've seen the unit in the video. Well, evidently it wasn't working because they said it was no air and shit. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. So uh, and and the thing is, a neighbor had been reporting that to see. CPS for the longest and nobody did and, nothing about and it. Government fail. Then he called the police. The neighbor called the police and told the police what was going on. And the police came out and investigated and that's what they found. Well, at least we still got some decent people in the world. Yeah, because he said he said he he been watching them, but uh, putting them in, then taking them out. And he said he been he been. Uh, made all kind of reports to CP CPS and they never came out, but they you know they didn't go care because they're black kids. Exactly right. And they knew they couldn't do nothing that nobody wanted them. I mean the, the even the the kids. I'm I'm sure they had extended family, but nobody came for them. No, no, and that's... they found a white couple that wanted them. They jumped at that. Now, if you can't afford to ha take care of your kids, stop making these kids. Get birth control pills. Go to Walmart. Go to Target and get those over-the-counter birth control pills. You don't need a doctor. And and hold off having these kids until you can get you an education and get a job and a place to stay before you start having babies. You know, try getting married first. And you have a stable relationship then have children. Don't just be dropping kids like puppies and they go in the system. Don't nobody care about black kids in the system? No, no, that's what I play some more. And they brought the children with them to Sissonville when they moved. Counts nine through twelve. Alleged use of force labor, which I made a survey. Mon was initially set at $200,000 cash, and they were both able to post it. Prosecutors have said in a new complaint for forfeiture, the couple sold a $725,000 80-acre ranch in Washington State and sold their Sissonville home to post bond. And they believe both of these properties were paid for through trafficking. That will be decided in a separate court matter, but because of this, prosecutors say they found discrepancies in the financial affidavit Lance filled out for a court-appointed attorney, leading to a new charge on his indictment. Some of the information on his face is inaccurate. Lance had to fill out a new affidavit today as the two were taken back into custody. Mm, I mean, enslaving black kids. And he thought uh, black people working for the working for a living was modern day slavery. This is modern day slavery. I mean, this is this is a shame. I mean, where are the kids' grandparents, their uncles, aunts, and cousins, and you know, no. doesn't nobody care no more? If I say what I want to say, they go call me racist, so I ain't gonna say what. I ain't gonna say. Well, now. <laughs> Now the kids gonna go right back into the system, and who gonna get them this time? One of them, 
one of them about ready to age out. Well, she's 16. Yeah, nobody want no 16 year old. No, doesn't want no 16 year old girl. Then the other boy is 14. Don't nobody want him. And then they had a, a nine year old, a six year old, and I, I don't know how old the other boy was. You so, know, somebody might take the nine year old, but that's a might. Six year old, somebody gonna take the six year old. Somebody like you, a black family? Who knows? Another white family? Who knows? When you start getting too old, they don't want you. Now, every time you give a, a, a white couple, a black child, that child end up missing or dead. Now, that's you, Madonna, Angelina, Jolene, they don't. Well, you know, they they rich. They did it for a statement. Is that right? But uh, these, these two little black boys, it, it's been a, been a last year, the year before. Uh, they they took these little black boys away from their parents, and the grandparents tried to get them, and they wouldn't give them to the grandparents, but they let these two white people adopt them. What a shame! And they the boys disappeared. They was out playing in the yard one minute, now they, they disappeared. Nobody know where they are. That's, that's a shame. Only in America. Well, it probably happened in other countries, but this is not supposed to be happening in America. Then everybody was saying that how racist that Simpsonville is where they are and that they don't like black people. They don't like black people nowhere. They sure don't. Black people not welcome nowhere. People wish black people just slide off the face of the earth. Not everybody, not everybody, but some. The majority. Yeah, of them. there you go, majority. Uh, and they, the black people just not want it. And you know they they was they they hoping that all black people are overdose and die or kill kill themselves or end up in prison for uh, 50, 60, 70 years, maybe a hundred years, so they don't never have to see them no well, more. Guess what? We ain't going nowhere. We like roaches. We everywhere you don't want us to be. Oh wow, <laughs> really? Yeah. So you know that that's why the black people, please get yourself together. Please stop this this shucking and jiving and all this crazy stuff. Get yourself together. Because you know you 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 you're committing genocide. That's basically what you 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 committing genocide. You're killing each other out here, and you're getting rid of yourself. Then you do spend the, your whole life in prison. I mean, there's, there's another video that I'm gonna be doing soon. It's talking about human trafficking and um, not human uh, human organ harvesting in prison. I'm not, I'm not surprised. They're taking. Your organs in prison. Black people, they taking your organs in prison. They using you as as spare parts. And you you keep running back trying to do. I mean, get yourself together. Get your get your emotion together. Get your mind right. Do the have a purpose. I mean, you act like. I don't want to say that word, but you're acting like a pack of wild dogs. Is that right? Just out doing whatever, whenever, and however, and to whomever. You just don't the care. Time, these two yeah. are scheduled to. You can finish playing it. Appear uh -huh. in court is for their scheduled trial in no in September. Prosecutors noted there are volumes of evidence in this case for all sides to go through. Now, in terms of the bond issue with how the original bonds were paid for, that is to be worked out at a later date. Live in the studio. Get yourself together, people. You have, take some pride in yourself. I mean, instead of trying to, trying to be uh, 304s and gangsters and- Hot girl stomper. Yeah, all this crazy mess. Get an education. Learn a skill. Get married. Have a family. Raise some decent kids. I mean, come on. 
Come on now, God did not intend for us to live this way. He really, truly didn't. I mean, he wiped everybody off the earth one time because of this violence and evil and stuff. And here you are doing the same thing. The same thing as if, you know, you just don't like you throwing your middle finger up at God and tell him, you know, oh, screw you. I mean, come on, really? Pretty much, that's what they're doing. Isn't your life worth more than prison? Yeah. Isn't your life worth more than than running the streets and getting high and, and fighting? And, and having sexual parties? Yeah, I mean, having these freak-offs? <laughs> Did he freak off? Yeah, I mean, don't you care any, anything about yourself or your future? I mean, a lot of people just live for today. Just want for today. They don't, oh, oh, where I cross that bridge when I get there. That's, that's their favorite line. <laughs> right. I cross that bridge when I get there. You might not never get to that bridge. That's, where you uh, acting? That's true. Well, I don't think there's much more we can really say on this. Mm, well, all, all I'm going to say is, you know, I, 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 I wish, I, I wish that there was something that could be done to turn this mess around, but no, I, I no, I, I, I believe in in God, and He's in control of everything, and the world is heading for destruction, and you know, and he, he, he said this was going to be. He said this over a thousand years ago that this is how things were going to be, and it's going to get worse and worse. And worse, That's and true. is it not happening? Yes, it is. I mean, it's it's dangerous out there. You can't you can't hardly go outside with, without without dying. I mean, you got these these uh, migrants come over now and they, uh, raping and killing little kids and little girls. I mean, this the world is out of control, and nobody seems to be able to do anything about it. But you no, know, if this is the way God wants to go, to go, and He wanted to end, then I guess there's nothing nobody can do. But it seemed like you will stop and think for a minute about the consequences of your actions, because you know you will see them again. But give us a thumbs up. Give us a like, that's share. It, that was it. Thumbs up. No, yeah, you did it. Subscribe, subscribe, and share. And yeah, then leave a leave a comment. Let us know what you think about this couple. I mean, you know, th I'm sure this is not a one time thing. This is probably happening everywhere, and you just don't know it yet. So you know, that's why I said, yo, get yourself together, folks. Open your eyes. Like you said, be woke. <laughs> Wake up. To what's going on around you. And until we meet again. Well we will meet. We will speak again. Till we speak again. Do better. <laughs>